I got a short story about the Cebu airline. This one is really good. So we flew from Edmonton, Alberta to Manila and we stayed one day. The following day we went to the Mall of Asia and to get the ticket to go to Guillain de Oro. So when we got to the agent, we said, okay, we need a four tickets. So we, she issued us four tickets. She didn't mention anything about uh, the luggage or anything like that. So we went back to the hotel uh, and then we went to the following to the, to the airport. And when we get to the airport, we went to the, to check in the luggage. So we went to the counter and she goes, hey, Mr. Uh, Osman, you, you forgot to um, mention the weight into the one you were getting your ticket. I said, what do you mean by that? She goes, you didn't mention your weight. I said, okay, okay, fine, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay. What, maybe, I pay maybe two, maybe about a hundred dollars max, maybe, you know, for the luggage. Sorry about the noise about my son. So she came back and she goes, uh, sorry, it's 9,000 pesos. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, 11,000 11, pesos. She's like, 11,000 pesos? I said, how come? She goes, because you didn't pay in advance. So then I asked her, if I, if I would have, when I was getting the ticket, if I would have mentioned to the agent or the agent would have mentioned it to me, I would have paid the price and how much that would be. She goes, it would have been probably a 2,000, right? 2,000 max. We would have paid for it. Uh, 2,000. Yeah, because we had like almost 150, uh, 50. Uh, yeah, but we had about 100, uh, 150, uh, 150 kilo. Yeah, so anyway, uh, she goes, 11,000 peso, if you would have, Paid it at the agent where I paid 2,000 peso. And I think for a big company for like Cebu Airline, you shouldn't do that. Let me pay double, fair enough. Three times, no. I wasn't too happy about that. But anyway, I have a flight to catch. I didn't want to argue. I paid the price and I moved on. Learned, I learned my lesson anyway, so I'm not gonna argue about it. So I moved on. Beside that, uh, this is my advice to you guys. If you want to fly through Cebu, I don't know about uh, Air Asia, how much they charge. I don't know about that. But I only can tell you about Air Cebu. If you are married to a Filipina, obviously you're gonna go back to, uh, to the Philippines. You're gonna go to Manila. From Manila, you're gonna go either, you're gonna go to the north or you're gonna go to the south or whatever. You need to pay at the agent or online all your weight that you have otherwise if you go to the counter trust me you're gonna end up paying so you don't want to do that so pay it up front don't be like me and they're gonna be nailing you like a hammer so don't do it other than that i had a great time with Cebu airline they were on time the flights was very nice very comfortable they get me to my destination. Oh, the headache. Do yourself a favor. Don't even wait to get to, to Manila to book your ticket anyway through Air, Air Cebu. You can do it online. The only reason I didn't do it online is because my the agent that I booked my ticket through, she told me the ticket from Manila to Gigante Oro is cheaper if you book it in Manila, which is not true. It's the same price. I, I should have booked from here. It would have been the same price. So if you are booking it through online, get your weight proper and pay for it. And if you're getting it in Manila, pay at the agent. If you don't pay for it, just make sure you go five hours before your flight to the airport in Manila and you're able to pay for it too. Don't go for four hours or four and a half. No, no, no. Go five hours before the flight. That's the only way. They really do check that five hours uh, time gap because they want to nail you anyway because they want to make their money, make right? Money, man. They want to make their money. So you want to avoid that, get five to six hours before your flight, check in and make sure you tell them, hey, listen, I got a 50 kilo or, or 50 pound or whatever you have and they will just charge you accordingly. But anyway, if you did enjoy my video, please do me a favor, okay? To like, subscribe and share it, okay? so I can make more videos like this in the future, okay? Thanks for watching.